Hello my soccer universe, today is my birthday, yay, I'm a year older. I actually would like to uh, ask you to tell me in the comments below how old do you think I am. Now, uh, this time around, I've been so often making my birthday video videos that we filmed an unpacking video, blah, 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 blah. The problem this time around is that we will not be at home on my birthday proper. So I'm shooting this a, a couple of days earlier and we kind of are celebrating, but it, you know, it doesn't feel quite right. But I said, I would like to have a video on my birthday to show you what I actually got. I'm gonna wear this on my trip in a way. Now, uh, I have the World Cup background because I film all the other unpackings, uh, which are very much World Cup related. However, there's not, not a World Cup jersey in here. However, I'm very Slatan, which was my father's day gift. And I will show you the three jerseys that I got. The first two are actually not soccer jerseys, but are NHL jerseys that I've been in a way long after. The first one is this Buffalo Sabres away jersey from 2006 to 2000. I think in 10 they got rid of it because this logo, the Buffalo Slug, they really hate it. I remember distinctively when I, this was right at the time when it, when it came out, I really wanted to have exactly this uh, jersey because Austria's best of hockey player, uh, Thomas Vanek, was playing for them and then my wife and I saw this and we even put an offer in and she could get it for relatively cheaper and so yeah, I have this one and I'm very very pleased with that, although the Buffalo Sabres, let's put it that way. I liked them a whole lot and then I became a Carolina Hurricanes fan. Visited their games and there suddenly was a rivalry there. And funny story is that they showed whenever before they played against the Sabres, they would put instead of this logo a banana and then someone smashing the banana on there. But I have to say, it's a, I know the logo is one of the worst in NHL history. However, I really like the jersey and the way it's done. Uh, the color con co combination is quite nice. The second one is also an NHL jersey, and that one is a true classic. Uh, I cannot believe, again, all of these I picked together with my wife, so, you know, because it's not always that easy, and this was also a second hand. I think I put in an offer for 50 to get it, and then she wrapped it, and, and so on, and I still can't, can't believe it. It's this original Phoenix Coyotes sweater. Again, Back in the 90s, this was considered super ugly. Meanwhile, people love it so much that they brought back these uniforms and in America, these jerseys are highly sought after. And I cannot believe that I got it. And this is an excellent condition. You see here the patches, the Phoenix Coyotes, the logo. The other one had a few threads. This one is in almost prime condition. I barely see any faults, maybe a teeny pull here and there, but I... Honestly, I always loved this jersey. I even remember when this day is going to a local sports store, they had this jersey. And I was like, ah, this looks kind of cool, but you know, it was so expensive back then. <laughs> now I have it. It's a blank. But it's one of my favorite hockey jerseys. It's an XL. It's maybe a tad big because in American sizes, I'm usually an L. But you know, if you wear it uh, over a pullover and so on, it looks really, really cool. I'm super pleased with having this beauty here however the best item is of course the next one uh and the story again i very often um already when i see a special jersey and let's put it that, that way my budget is kind of empty-ish or whatever i shouldn't do it do anymore then i obviously think could this be a potential um present for me for a future holiday and that's exactly uh, what happened. Uh, it was actually uh, Idris, which you saw uh, the unpacking last time, time, time around, who made me wear of this shirt on, win uh, on vintage football area of all places. And it was exactly for this particular team, which is one of my favorite teams, of course. So me wearing Milan, maybe can take, I guess. It was actually the one jersey that I've been looking for forever. And this one, while not in top, top condition, but almost in the best configuration that I wanted it to have. It is this beautiful 2006-2007 Lusk home jersey by Umbro. This is when they won the second league 
and 2007 is a very special year for for me milan also won the champions league uh for instance they got promoted and they were wearing this jersey and i always loved it, especially here because this is such a nice nod to the uh, f f uh, flag that the fans are having i really like the color um it comes with the full con 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 conversion you have here the red sack logo you have i mean it's maybe a little bit too pinky than it should be okay but the last logo is in pristine condition is still the uh old one they have changed this meanwhile and of course a big up austria and no other sponsor up front i think there were two ave sponsors uh, down here uh but will make it they made this even more of a must have and i'm not kidding you there's one player that i really want to have on the back and that's exactly the one that is ivica vastage yes this number, I'm not gonna wear this jersey. This is gonna go straight up on the, on the wall now as my, my most prized last jersey because you see already, this now number set is really, really iffy and I have a vestige on there which kind of washed off. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna keep this. This is a museum jersey. It has the AVE spawn sponsor. It's a beautiful, beautiful last jersey. jersey almost the ideal one. Maybe a little bit pet, too much uh, side patching here and there, but other than that, I love this one. This is in many ways my go-to last jersey. I never saw this online available. And no, I should say no, I saw it once and it sold for 200 because it's a very much sought after last jersey among the fans because there is this good feelings that they got promoted and then they were really good. And then of course, with every last within five, five years, it all went downhill again. I hope we're not again in this downhill spiral. Uh, but you know, new stadium coming. I could I could talk for ages about this one. Here's also Red Zuck, which is an electronic sponsor. That logo is yeah getting quite damaged. I probably have to do some work on that. What a beauty! What a beautiful jersey! I love this one, and I'm so happy to have it. And I think it cost all of 45, 50 something like that. So yeah. Those are my birthday gifts, a good way to start the new year in my life. What do you think about the jerseys? Are you surprised that I did not get only soccer jerseys? I also have NHL jerseys, not as many, but I do like them. I do like them a lot because the one advantage they have, the logo is huge and there are no sponsors on there. So in that sense, I do like it. In any case, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!